Greetings family. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Advocate Bulem Matzelo. Today I want to share briefly on the topic which I have entitled Choose Your Friends and Choose Carefully. You know, during the course of this week, I came across an, a brief message or a brief article which stated that your cycle matters. But before I speak about your cycle matters, let me go back to my topic whereby I say choose. Choose your friends and choose carefully. So when I say choose, I mean choose. I mean that you choose. They don't choose you. You know, because in the past we made a mistake whereby we allowed people to choose us to be their friends. But we did not have a say in the matter. You just find yourself embroiled in this relationship. You don't even know how this relationship started. You did not even have time to think about it and to assess the situation, to assess the qualities in this relationship, whether this is what I want or not. Do I just want a casual relationship with this person? Do I just want this person to be an account, an, an acquaintance? Or should she be my friend? You see, because a friend is somebody who is very close to you. A friend is somebody who walks with you. As a, a friend is somebody who stands with you. A friend is somebody who sits with you. You know, when you read Psalm chapter one, it's one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible. And I will briefly read Verse 1 of that Psalm, chapter 1, and it reads as follows. Blessed is the man who walks. That's the first word. Who walks. Who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nor stands in the path of sinners. Nor sit in the seat of the scornful. So in other words, this person is blessed because he does not walk with ungodly people. This person is blessed because he does not stand in the path of sinners. This person is blessed because he does not sit in the seat of the scornful. He does not do those things. And godly people, no. Sinners, no. Scornful, no. He does not take the counsel of the ungodly. Because you know, when you have ungodly friends, they will give you ungodly advice. But when you have godly friends, they will give you godly advice. When they, will, when they advise you, they will advise you in line with what the word of God says. They will say, forgive. They will say, that says the Lord. And thus they will help to shape your character. They will help to grow you closer to God. 
they will impart the character of God, Christian character in your life because they are godly. But the ungodly, they will give you ungodly counsel. That is why the word of God says you are blessed. Do you want to be blessed? Do you want to be blessed in this new year? Do not walk in un with the ungodly. Do not stand in the path of sinners. Do not sit in the seat of the scornful. In other words, do not be associated with this lot that I have just mentioned. So in other words, it is your responsibility as a believer. It is your responsibility as a child of God to choose your friend. Don't let them choose you. You know, even when you get married, you don't just get married to, the, to somebody that you just met. You go out with this person. You date with this person. You begin to relate and to assess this person. You check their qualities. The same thing we must do with our friends. People that we want to be friends with, we have to date them. We have to check their quality. Is this somebody that will help to improve my life? Will I be better off when I relate with this person? Now, let's go back to the article that I referred to, where they said, your cycle matters. Indeed, your cycle matters. How far you will go in life is dependent on your connections, is dependent on the type of people that you relate with. When we look at that book of Mark chapter 2 about these friends, the Bible says this was a man who was a paralytic. He was paralyzed. Jesus was ministering to the sick. And his friends brought him to Jesus. It was only four men. It was not a lot of people. Because, you know, sometimes too many people, they can bring ruin to your life. But these were just four men who were so determined that Today, our friend is going to be healed. But upon arrival, the Bible says in Mark chapter 2, the place was packed. Everywhere it was packed, even at the door, it was packed. They came with a strategy. They came with a plan to assist a friend. They were so desperate. They were so determined that today our friend is going to be healed. They were so determined to support this friend, to help their friend to get a breakthrough. They did not give up. They did not become impatient. You know, sometimes people, because we are only human, they can only help you up to a certain level. But when you have been there in that situation for that long, some of them, they begin to walk away from you. That is the, 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 the process of sifting, where they just feel like, ah, this person, she's been struggling for too long. And they will all begin to vanish because you have been in that situation for too long. But these ones, they were determined that we will not leave our friend before he gets his breakthrough. The Bible says they opened the top of a roof. They uncovered it. They uncovered the roof, the rooftop. You see how determined they are. They were even prepared to take that risk. What was the owner of the house going to say if it was in the house? What was the owner of that property going to say if people just begin to uncover the top of the roof? But that's what they, 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 they did. And they slide him in through the top of the roof. The Bible says 
when Jesus saw their faith, he was moved and he began to minister healing to this man. It was because of their faith, the Bible says. So we all need daring friends. We all need supportive friends. We all need friends who will be with us through thick and thick and thin. We all need men and women of faith because the Bible says it was because of their faith that he received his healing. The Bible says, let me read it verbatim. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, son, your sins are forgiven. It was not because of his faith. It was because of the faith of his friends. So sometimes in our life, when we go through that difficult situation, we need friends around us. Not too many, but only four, only two, only one. We need friends around us who would uncover the roof on our behalf, who would intercede on our behalf, who would do everything that has to be done for us to get the breakthrough, not to leave us stranded, not to leave us when we need them both. That is the friends that we all need. Jesus said because of their faith, because of their faith, the Bible says, so we need friends who would intercede for us. We need friends in our lives. We need people who would stand on a gap for, for us, who would intercede on our behalf. When we are at our lowest ebb, when we are no longer able to do it for ourselves, when we are no longer able to believe for ourselves, we need to have people like that. So it is true that our circle matters. And while we're looking for those kind of people in our circle, it is also important that we should be those people. We should be the friend that you want. If you want a supportive pe a friend, be a supportive person. If you want a friend that loves you, because the Bible says friend is for love and brother is for adversity. The Bible says a friend loves at all time. Yes, it is true. We all need that friend. We all need that friend who will intercede for us. We all need that friend who is a man or a woman of faith. We all need that friend who will be there when we need them. We all need that friend who will support us. We need that friend who will give us godly counsel, who would advise us in line with the word of God, who would not mislead us, but who would take us closer to the word and therefore closer to God. But the most important thing is that as we are looking for that friend, we must also be that friend. May the Lord bless you. May he make his face to shine on you. In Jesus' name. Please do not forget to comment, to like, to share, and to subscribe. The Lord bless you.